know tomorrow I do my first 200 kilometers on the bike. It's now nine o'clock. I'm meeting my friends at one. I need to shower and sleep. See you in the morning. Guess what? We're going. It's 1 a.m. Time to start. Good morning. Yeah. Hi. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? One oh eight in the morning. What time do you sleep? Uh, nine o'clock. What time do you wake up? Nine thirty. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so excited, man. Okay, okay. I slept at like nine something. Woke up at twelve. We are ready to do two hundred k. Yes. I'm slightly worried. We will attempt to do <laughs> close to two hundred k, maybe hundred seventy something for the ones uh, for us lah. <laughs> to stay in the east. Well, now it's Kepo. Kepo, West Coast. West Coast. Uh, only 20 km in. And we are eating. <laughs> <laughs> A bit fail, but yeah. I'm so tired. It's lamppost one. And that's beyond lamppost one. We are now at about 50 kilometers. So that's only like one quarter of the journey. Of course, this massive truck has become just as I am in. Okay, we're now at 50 kilometers. This is one quarter of the journey, but small winds. We made it to lamppost one. Uh, photo op, water stop, Woo, and then all the way back. That's the. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> wow. The taste, the Wow. <laughs> we're now at Benoit Road. I guess that means we're kind of out of Tuas. I'm quite tired. I don't know why. We only had 65 kilometers. I think because we're going quite fast. I actually feel quite tired. We're gonna take a little rest before we hit the Limchukang stretch. I'm not really looking forward to that because that's not another long, relentless stretch. <sighs> oh my gosh, we're at Pioneer Road now. Some random coffee shop. I'm so tired. <sighs> I feel like chewing up. I don't know, I feel like nauseous. I'm an egg. Super tired. I'm hungry, but I don't feel like eating. It's not a good feeling. So, I'm going to and see you now. Done with Pioneer. Now it's the limb to come stretch. Oh. I think of them as stretches. So yes, we're heading towards limb to come. Punchy. I feel a bit better though after the gummy bears. So. We are at Woodlands and I'm feeling a little bit better. I'm gonna eat a little bit. Hopefully, the worst is over. Apparently, we're not going by Mandai, we are going by Sembawang, which is longer but flatter. Okay, so we've stopped at St. Balak Park to watch the sunrise. To be honest, I'm pretty naked. I'm not even sure I can really appreciate the sunrise right now. I'm now at 100 kilometers. Uh, I just saw most of the sunrise on the way here, which is nice. The bad news is, it's only gonna get hot from here, so... Rock pops up. 
the armistice has come out. All right, we're not at Pasir Ris. I'm starving, so food of choice, mala mean. The plan was to stop at Changi Village, but I don't think I could make it today. To be honest, I told my friends to go ahead, but they were nice as they were all just here. Um, it's now 40 km to go. I feel really, really, really tired, but I'm convinced that after I eat, I will be in better shape. So. Yeah, just gonna eat, drink, and hope that I'll make it to TMCR, East Coast, and then home. It's not so bad, right? It doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> Let's see. I finished eating and I'm so happy! What a difference food makes! I am ready to conquer TMCR. Done with the TMCR! I am now at 145, I think. So that's just another 15 kilometers to a century ride. It's actually not so bad. I think food really makes a difference. Okay, I just wanted to say I reached 160! Century ride! Yay! Finish a century ride with my trusty Mindy. 161.4. A century ride is about 161 kilometers or 100 miles. Yay! Achievement unlocked. So I'm gonna soak my aching body and I'll tell you more about the ride later. I know I just need a rest. Okay, so that's me done with. 160 kilometers or 100 miles. Uh, as you can see, I got cleaned up first. I was really tired after that ride. I didn't expect it to be an easy ride, but it turned out to be even harder than I thought it would be. Because I've actually done like 120, 130, so I thought it would be just a bit more effort, but it actually felt exponential. I guess it's like running, you know, um, half marathon, full marathon. It's not, it's not double the effort. It's exponential the effort. So that's how it felt like. A few thoughts, um, number one is I'm not going to have anything with dairy first thing in the morning. Usually I don't, uh, but that day I decided to have a protein shake just because I thought it would give me extra energy. Bad idea, I had the rumbles. Mm -mm. Second is, uh, I think I'm going to be more aware of like my speed on long rides. So we had a sort of a standing pack that we would go at 30km per hour rolling. But then when we hit the Tuas stretch, I think everyone was just really tired of being in Tuas. So we kind of went faster than 30 km per hour and I think that didn't help. I think my body is just the sort that needs a constant pace and 30 is very comfortable but above that, you know, to push for such a long distance, I think that wore me out. So at the end of class, I was actually a bit more tired than I should have been and that was just one third into the ride. The other thing is, um, I took this as the second ride with cleats and I think that didn't help. I think that contributed to the tiredness because every time we would stop at a red light and my friends would move off, a lot of times I wouldn't be able to clip in. So I'll be panicking and then I'll be lagging behind and then I have to kind of speed up and sprint to catch up to them and that just was not helping the pacing at all. So I just got really tired. And the final thing and a good tip is never underestimate two things. One is the power of good food uh, and salt and the other is the power of good company. Right, so at Loyang, at the 120km mark with about 40km to go, I was really tired but I kind of stopped to take a break. My friends were very encouraging and encouraged me to eat and I ate a bowl of noodles and it was like magic noodles. I think it was a combination of much needed carbohydrates uh, plus maybe much needed salt because it was... I drank most of the soup and I don't really like drinking isotonic when I'm on the road which probably is not a good idea because after the bit of salt and the carbo I suddenly have so much more energy and my friends were also really encouraging and that really helps because if I were doing this alone, I tell you I would have given up by, by Loyang, I was ready to give up. It's just that it didn't let me give up. Okay, so that's those were my learning points. Uh, otherwise, it was a really, I would say, fun ride, although it 
although when I look back I'm like whoa I need to take a bit of a break from long rides for now uh, drop me a line in the comment box below let me know if you like to see if you'd like to see more such cycling videos please give this a thumbs up it will help me very much and uh, let me know what's the longest distance you've ever ridden also give me comments and suggestions on routes I should try I still consider myself a very beginner cyclist although this was like a really quick initiation into cleats because now I, I feel a lot more confident on them. Alright, that's all for me. I'll catch up with you on Facebook and on Instagram. Bye! And see you on the road.